In helping us answer the question, what is a discounted cash flow? We start off by looking at the EV equity bridge. Here we can see that if we took EV minus net debt, we'd get to equity. Or alternatively, if I wanted to get two EV, I could take equity plus net debt equals EV. It's the first one I want to look at here, EV minus debt equals equity. How do you actually calculate that EV or enterprise value? Well, we could use multiples, such things as trading comps, or we could use a discounted cash flow, a DCF. The enterprise value represents the net operating asset of a business. And by doing a discounted cash flow, we will thus work out the value of that enterprise value of those net operating assets. So we normally shorthand it. It's normally called a DCF. And it takes a cash flow forecast and discounts that to today's value. So if I was to ask you, do you want 100 of money now or 100 in a year's time? Most of you would probably say to me, I want that money now, please. And if I then said, why? Why do you want the money now? You'd say, well, I could invest it and that 100 could be 105 in a year's time. So I'd much rather have the money now. Also, there's inflation, which would reduce my purchasing power over that year. And there's risk. There's risk that I might not get the money in a year's time. So for a variety of reasons, we prefer money now. Money now has greater value. What we do in a discounted cash flow is we take the cash flows for many years into the future and discount them back to today. Find out what the value of all of those cash flows today might be. Now, it is an intrinsic, not a relative valuation tool. A relative valuation tool says we look out towards similar companies, see what they're worth, find out some ratios in them, and then apply them to our company. Not with a discounted cash flow. A discounted cash flow says I want to find out the revenues of my company, its costs, all of its cash flows. I then find the cost of this company's finance, and then I find the value of this company. Very much looking internally. And lastly, it's the modeler's view of value. So again, not looking externally towards other companies. I'm going to model my value for this company. Now, there are good things and bad things about a discounted cash flow. The first good thing, it gives an absolute value. So if I took three payments for the next three years, maybe 105, 110, 115, and I discounted them back to today, I might get a present value of 300. And that is an absolute value. Next up, it requires detailed modeling. And we can get to know the company, what drives the company quite well. And thirdly, it focuses on cash. At the end of the day, it's cash that we give as a return to our shareholders and our debt holders. What are the negatives of discounted cash flows? Well, it does require significant expertise to be able to build one. And it's very sensitive to its assumptions. If we looked at those cash flows going forward and I just changed the growth of those cash flows by maybe a percent or two, that would dramatically change the value of the company. However, the positives do tend to outweigh the negatives. We find it a very valuable tool for helping us value a company.